Werner nearly died uh, last month. Oh, hold on. When I hung, hung off a bridge, <laughs> when a train went by, and if I wouldn't have been hanging, the train would have hit me, and it literally mm. snuck up on us like a motherfucker. Like, they was already out of the way, but the train was about to hit me, and it. Killer, killer, oh, 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 Killer, killer, official, <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer, killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Podcast. Big shout out to GraffitiKings.co.uk. Now we are going on location to Birmingham, the world of Zuki, Causa, uh, Sum, Epic, Tempo, Crutz. We have inside a representative. We have NHS's finest Shaq from Birmingham. How are we doing? Black country represent. Hold tight. How are but, you, brother? But, but inside, inside. Yes, brother. What are you saying, man? You're good, yeah? <laughs> yeah, good, 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 good. Never have I ever met such a wholesome and nice, good energy person, brother. You're, yeah, you're, ADHD, you're... man. Maxed off it, bro. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounded like you'd come off with that inside a little bit too uh, too smoothly. I, you're an MC DJ. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. Well, producer, innit? You know what I mean? Not, the, not exactly DJ, but producer. Bedroom DJ. Bit of a producer on the side. You know what I'm saying? I see. So this is... You're a full-time 360 street culture g- g- creator. Mm, I suppose. Try, try it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. Shaq NHS. Now... For those of you who don't know about the, the Birmingham black country style, and for myself especially, and I kind of alluded to it at the start of the podcast, you're like a tropical version. It's like another version of Graph. You know what I mean? And I think we, we can all learn a, a, a fair few things off of this conversation we're about to have now about your style and where you're from and, and the history points, you know what I mean, from, from a younger's point of view. Yeah, definitely. So let's get into it. Where did it go? Where did it begin, bad boy? Where did it all begin for you? Fucking hell, where did it begin? Um, uh, riding, riding, the, <laughs> riding the trains with me old man, to be fair, man, when I was younger. It was, for me, it was the track sides, man. You know, like, for London, I had their, like, train scene in it, but we had the more, like, uh, for me, it was the track sides, man. The track sides were heavy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Believe it or not, people from London, heads from London, they were some of the original names that I knew about before I knew anything about graffiti. I knew about really? Fume, I knew about Zonk, I knew about Bosch, and then obviously then I was seeing Corsa, you know, and I realised that they, they was obviously with Corsa. Like, they had obviously mm. come down from London and took over fucking... They took it over, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally... <laughs> Yeah, they really come from like I don't know, a weekend or something, but Zonk and that was everywhere on the Birmingham tracks. I remember right. it. I was like, who is that Zonk geezer, man? You know, who is that Fume? Who is that Bosch? I knew, cool, I knew, of course, it was. So I was thinking, obviously, his pals, and that's what it was. But these are the first names I was seeing, man. And, um, do you think, do you think like it was when they when they came in and hit so hard, did you? Was it present? I mean, I'm not sure how old you were at the time, but it sounds like you remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, like, no, was well, imp- yeah well, I was only nine, bro. You know what I'm saying? About about nine or ten. It was probably about 2000 when I was seeing this shit, man. But but it's obviously been there since the 90s. Like well, that impact must have been like crazy. Sort of time. And I just remember it feeling like, I knew I was looking at it, seeing that it was kind of weathered and old. But that influencing me even more, knowing that it had been there long. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, these days, the trouble is, the buff's so hard these days. You hit a spot, man. I've literally, I've hit about, I can remember like eight different spots I've hit this year and they've been buffed in 24 hours. Do you know what I mean? That's wow. how hot it is now for the buff, man. So but, but oh, wow. back in the day, the generation before me, we got to see, like that, that was painting, you know, yeah. Five, ten years later, we still got to see their work riding on the lines, yeah. in it. So it, yeah. it was just absolutely influential, man. 
for us, like, you know, seeing all these yeah. old writers. And then we started our own thing, in it? But we was obviously toys and we were just looking up to them. But I feel like it's nowadays, crazy. me, like, like I, I, it's sad because I feel like what I'm doing now will never last more than five years because it's so out there and it's so hot, in it? Mm. Bare hot spots. I know it's not going to last five, five, five fucking years, let alone two. So it's one of them. It's just one of them. I wish it wasn't the internet age, but it always will be now. This is a conversation that comes up a lot on the podcast. It's the it's the transition that happened when it went from underground street, and then Instagram came along and made it almost okay to selfie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that's but I think that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Um, well, for the likes of us in London and everywhere else in the in the country and world, big shout out to international crew. Uh, we probably wouldn't see half of the burners that are coming out of Birmingham, Manchester, Notts, you know what I mean, Sheffield. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it wasn't for Instagram and shit like that, yeah, you're yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. Bristol crew. So yeah, Bristol, it's a double edged sword, big, isn't, isn't it? it, man? Bristol's big. They embrace it yeah. there, man. They embrace the art, don't they? Hard, but you guys do too. You had the um, what's it, the High Viz Festival? Mm, yeah, that um, you guys actually now when I think about it, like by the old uh custard factory, what's that road called? Um, uh, is yeah, it Digbeth? Uh, um, Digbeth, is it called Digbeth? Digbeth, Digbeth yeah, Digbeth, yeah, man, that's Digbeth. right. And then there's there's a high, um, a high, uh, oh, high road. There's main no high street. There's high street. Yeah, that as well. That's where the old Rainbow Pub was. Around the back there, there used yeah. to be like yeah. a bunch of spots as well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, man. Digbeth for me, Digbeth gets a bit boring, man. Like Digbeth has got a load of boards in it, right? And they're all legal. And uh, for me, I just don't paint them. I don't feel like painting them. There's no rushing that shit, man. Fuck that, yeah. bro, man. Get me on a fucking lean over, man. On on a fucking track side any day, man, or a motorway spot, you know what I mean? Like, that's where I get my thrill from. I don't get my yeah, thrill motorway from... spots. Yeah, I love motorway spots, man. Oh, I think I think when I think Birmingham, I think a lot of different op- uh, uh, different opportunist places. Like, yeah, you guys ain't afraid of a, uh, of a, of a scaling a, a rooftop. When I nearly died uh, last month. Oh, hold on. When I hung, hung off a bridge, <laughs> when a train went by, and if I wouldn't have been hanging the train would have hit me and it literally mm. snuck up on us like a motherfucker like they was already out of the way but the train was about to hit me and it was coming at speed and i literally wow. had to just dive over the wall and hang by my fingertips like that and everyone knows where this spot is like it's in right in town the big bridge that everyone sees you know the yeah london to you know london houston to birmingham line that we, oh well, shit. You know, the big bridge the big old yeah the big old blue brick yeah I fucking had to go jump over that and hang off it like that on my fingertips as the train went uh, past. And it was like a fucking 12 carriage motherfucker as well, man. Yeah, oh I, I was like, oh. And then all of these, hey, hey, what are you doing like that? And I was like, oh shit. There's some African security guard who looked mean as fuck. Like, and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh shit. I'm just going home, mate. Fucking hell. You know? <laughs> Oh my god, the train you're... had gone. And I looked up and he was taking pictures, and then we all had to get off and run down the tracks. And he, for some reason, he was off the track, we was on the track on his big bridge, but he just kept coming. We just kept hearing his voice, man. It was weird. Look, like, like, how could he still be there, man? He was going, Hey, 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 like that. I was like, how can we still hear him? He's like literally next to us. He must have been able to run through fences and you know, hanging off a bridge. To your death. Yeah, like, definitely would have died, yeah, definitely. It's six stories, isn't it, I think? About six stories, man. Five at least. What? In the cold as well. Freezing cold, man. Just... Your fingers must be numb. That would have been no security for hanging off a fucking six-story. What? No, I'm, I'm a brilliant climber, though, bro. I, I've got medals and that, man, in rock climbing, you know. Oh. I mean? I, obviously, I'm a forearm and that backing me up and that as well. But... <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. It was, man. God. That one, that was fun. And then there was, just after that as well, we had to hide in um, a network rail car park for ages. And then loads of network rail showed up and we had to just like, hide in the bushes. That was funny. Uh, there was like, like 10 vans. And um, 
I fell through roofs as well, man. Things like that. I fell through rooftops, doing rooftops in it. You know, I fell through roofs. Yeah. Landed on. That's another. That's another Birmingham thing, man. The rooftop yeah, thing. I landed on. I fell through a roof before, and I landed on loads of chairs stacked up, and the legs was facing up. <gasps> I landed onto my back, onto all these stacked up chairs, and the police pulled me out of there, and they said you could have broke your back. And that's why I got a scar on my eye, and I won't show you, but that's why I got a scar on my eye because one of the chair legs went into my eye. Oh, <laughs> dude! I oh, know it's pretty ghetto, isn't it, man? Pretty ghetto. Oh, it's that's all just crap. another level. Yeah, that's just another level, mate. But to be fair to you, I'm not even halfway through my mission, so I feel like there'd be a lot, of, lot more. You've to got come. those. You've got those motorways yeah. that are just asking for, you know. Being being created on right, definitely yeah. They cleaned a few uh, years ago, man. They, they they actually buffed it all off, man. Like the spag bowl, you know, spaghetti junction. They buffed about really? thirty years of graph history. And it, I mean, for me, it was like yes, clean canvas. Any, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, nah, that's a, that, you can't do that, man. That's this is like fucking liberty, ain't it, bro? Yeah, it is a liberty because again and again, just to, you know, just heightening what you were saying, you've uh, it, it, a lot of a lot of the graph that would go up now probably wouldn't be up for as long as as that had exactly. And it, it you know, it does piss me off when um you know people worst thing I can be called when I'm painting right is I'm painting in a different city or something, and uh, someone walks down and goes, "Oh, it's like Banksy." Oh, I'm trying to punch him, bro. <laughs> and that's nothing yeah. towards Banksy himself, you know. It's, yeah. it's to do with people. It's other bit. It's the public's view, man. It's like mm-hmm. the way people's conception are of Banksy and graffiti, and it should. That's what pisses me off, you know. And it's the system, because mm-hmm. obviously, you know, as you know, the irony of it is Banksy started to be against the system. That was his intent, weren't it? It was. It was writing messages against the system, wasn't it? But then nowadays, the system loves him because he's worth millions. And then he's sort of, I feel like he's just gone with them now. And he's sort of like, yeah, you know, I just, it's it's other people's opinions that I hate, you know. It's yeah. the way that I, yeah, they'll buff me the next day, even though it was freehand and it was better than Banksy. But Banksy gets to stay because he's worth some money, isn't it? You know, yeah, yeah. It shows that's you that the system thing. literally deep down all, are all about money. Yeah, that's right. So, it's one of them. It's, it makes me have a little, little taste that. in my mouth. Like, nah, man, I don't trust my government anymore because of that. Mm, oh, mate, honestly, that that's a whole another kettle of fish. <laughs> but for sure, for sure, that the cultural appropriation of what street art has become. Like, I'm I'm kind of cool with either or. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, I am. I th- yeah, obviously, I can anything good. I like good, you know, good art and that. It's that, yeah. it's not that. It's it's what the media say. It's, I think it's the media for me. I, I hate the media on it, man. Mm, mm. Would you say? Would you say that as a writer that that is part of your mission brief? If there's something that's kind of irking you, like you've got a chip on with regards, does it make you do it? Does it make you paint more? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, things like that do get to my head, and then, mm. I, then I sort of I, I go out there with like an aggressive feeling towards society and. Yeah. Mainly not society, but mainly like the system and the fucking government and the queen and all that. Like, I just, I just get a bit aggy about it and aggy and like, I do go out with intent to destroy as much shit as I can. Yeah. And it is, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but you know, I really do feel them feelings. So I guess you'd say graffiti for me is a lot of the time it's like a, it's like an emotional thing. Yeah, it's like an mm. emotional war, man. Like, I go out and I'm actually doing it to get rid of my stress. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it elaborates some more. Uh, like, uh, from a from a point of view of what, what gets you psyched up, what is the, you know, for you to go out and batter a city, for instance, that takes a lot of aggression and energy. What, what do you, what's your, I guess, what, what do you warm up to? What's the thing that, Sets you, gets your energy, your blood levels. Because well, I love pumping. music, and it, you know, hip hop, drum and bass, jungle, whatever it is, man. Mm-hmm. Anything that's mm-hmm. got very good energy, man. I'm, I'm there. You know what I mean? Like original roots and that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, yeah, man. It's just I'm just doing it for the un- underground, just 
forgotten heroes, man, you know, like, yeah, something that yeah, I want I to keep pure, like, I, I, you know, I could, you can make money off graph and all that, but I wouldn't want to do it full time. I'd, wouldn't you? Is that uh, not, is that not thing? No. Because I could have done it full time, you know, I've had the opportunities and that, and I've done it and I've basically flopped. Are you aware of, of like, own I mean, choice? Oh, really? So what, you, just, you've you know, got... Oh, in... I can't be asked to fucking be a fucking muralist. I can't, I know I can do it, but I can't be asked, isn't it? Because, it mm. takes too much. It, it turns into a business then. And then mm. if you're doing it as a business, then you won't be out on the missions then because you, all your time goes into your business then. And and so you're, so the adrenaline of the the, the, the the mission is the thing for you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'd say that because, you know, I'm a graffiti writer and it, you know, I, I'm not a graffiti artist. Mm. Even though I can dabble in a bit of graffiti art as such, you know. Yeah. I'm not actually a graffiti artist. A graffiti artist is someone who does it for a living and gets paid to to do graffiti in a way that someone tells them to do it. It's a job, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah, you're a graffiti artist. I want this mural doing. So you've got to do it the way I say, and you get paid, isn't it? But for me, no, nah, I've, I've always been naughty, man. I'm too naughty for that shit, bro. I can't yeah, be told I what to that. do. I only want to do it when I want to do it. So I will do the odd commission, but it's mainly for like friends and what have you and people that I know, you know. But when it comes to like the live scale of thing, I just can't be bothered to do it. I'm too selfish. It's interesting you say that. I know it's mad, but maybe it's just me. It is mad. It is mad because I see some of your burners and I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, you've clearly been brought up with, you know, you came up with a lot of, inf- like, Birmingham for me has has always been a different scene to a lot of the other, the rest of the country, but the way that, mostly because of the way you guys deal in burners as much as you do in dubs, you know what I mean. And yeah. there's some wild style to your dubs as well. Like you, you guys seem to have inherited that. You know, I guess through the likes of Causa and the handful of others we spoke of. I yeah, just yeah. feel like yo, you the pedigrees. Ill. Yeah, loads of old school Sick. head my fuse, uh, mm. you know, T T Bone and that, you know, Zuki, a lot of old school Zuki. head man, you know. Yeah. Zuki's yeah, Zuki's a godfather, man. You need you need to get Zuki on here, man. Because I know Paul oh, yeah, yeah, you need to, man. He's he's, he's, he's he's definitely a legacy holder. I'm not a legacy holder. I'm a soldier, any I'm a soldier, but he's a legacy holder. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Uh, and you know, again, look, we can have I'm all about the legacy holding the documentation without question, but the energy that you bring to the game right now, I think it's it's from a it's from a a, a younger perspective and somebody somebody that knows the uh, knows the roots. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. How how important is that to you? I mean, it's it's for your style. It's almost like well, you've you you've you've been on it. You, it looks like you've been doing it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like. You've yeah, got I mean, the coordinates. Yeah, I mean, I come. I, I had a few. I had some time off in it, graph and that. But when I come back, like four or five years ago, and I come back hard in it. And to be honest with you, I feel like in five years I've done more than a lot of these big graph names have in the whole graph career, bro. And that's mm. just honest talking in it. That's yeah. honest. You know, I've been out there, man. I've, I've hit some big spots, man. And I love really? it, I love it. And like, like your man Snap said, yeah, I rated his interview, bro. I loved it, I loved it, yeah. Oh, he said something Thank that you. I probably resonated with and it's what I do. He said, to make a real writer, you know what you've got to do? You've got to go out on your own. You've got to go mm. out on your own and you've got to hit spots on your own, man. But not just any ordinary fucking shitty little canal spots, yeah? We're talking yeah. big fucking yeah. track sides, big rooftops, City centre, shit like that. I've done it. I've done it on my own, yeah. And that, that's what. That's when I thought to myself, yeah, man. That's what makes a real writer, and it, you know, because it's because you feel it in your heart. You feel the anxiety of it, man. And it, it makes you not have fun anymore. It's not fun. That's when you know when it's when it stops being fun. But you still gotta mentally do it. That's when you know mm-hmm. you're a graffiti writer, and you don't do it as a hobby in a way. You do it as a lifestyle, man. And. Uh, yeah, because one thing also Snap said, which I thought, shit, like, that he, he's very intuitive. And then when you're, when you're on your own, you're able to make intuitive decisions, not based on other people's peer pressure or 
because uh, someone wants to do it and you don't. Yeah. You can actually yeah, you never like, get caught on your own. Time. Never. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you prefer that. So, explain to me. Explain to me what you're conscious of. What 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 are you exposed a lot more to on your own compared to when you're with people? How do you? Oh man, what's just, your practice? Just like um, it's it, um, it's noises, bro. I'll be honest with you. When it's late and you're in a train yard on your own, or when you're on a train track, like it's just every noise you hear. You like, do you know what I mean? Like, whoa, mm. what is you know? It's mad. It's mad. Look, I was doing a trackside on my own in in Brom, like that a few years ago, and and a and a freight train went past, and it come out of the blue, and it like snuck up on me. I jumped back and. For some reason, I must have been tripping because I was on my own. But I looked at the freight train and I could see like loads of ghost faces on it. Mm, and it, it reminded me yeah. of that tune, that Pink Floyd fucking um, another brick in the wall, like that tune. Mm. There, my, my old man used to bang it, and it like I was, I was, I was thinking, picturing that video there, and it was all uh, going woo, 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 like that to me, and I was like, right, nah. <laughs> I was like, I just, just like a ghost train went past, didn't it? And it was all like laughing at me and that. Oh man, that would never happen if you was with a group of lads, and it. They're the only shit that happens on your own, man. That would that would spook me the fuck Obviously out. Obviously, I finished it. it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I guess you're right, isn't it? Sounds they everything is magnified yeah. by like ten. Everything's eerie. Don't that scare you? I suppose a little bit. Yeah, when you're on your own, it does. But when I'm with my mates, I fucking love it, man. Really? Oh, so, okay, so there are exceptions to the rules. Yeah, we're not, we're, obviously, I'm always the leader, man, you know, like me and my pals, I'm always the one, man, I plan the missions, like normally, anyway. Mainly, I'm playing the mission, you know, I'm always at the front, and it, it's, it's, you know, it's my show, innit? <laughs> mm. But they love it, they love it, you know, my mate's big up Pike and that, man, love him to bits, he's my little boy, innit? I got raided back in 2008, in fact, for graffiti. Right. Raided. So, so you've been done before, then? I've been done, yeah. Seven counts of criminal damage. Fucking a year oh. and a half of probation. Spend his sentence. Fucking, oh, you name it. Like, they was they was on my case. I didn't graft them for a while, in it, but mm. came back as the same name. Fuck, it, I just didn't care. I was like, you know what? I can't prove anything now, man. Mm. Shaps my DJ name in it. Really? So it's your DJ name too? Yeah, that's all it is. I'm not a graffiti writer, man. That's all it is, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, I get you, I get you. Just take pictures I do, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is for exhibi- exhibited pro- uh, ex- exhibition purposes. That's the, one. That's the one. What do you spin? What music do you spin? Uh, mainly drum and bass, isn't it, man? Mainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love, the, I love a... D&B, man. You know what I mean? The, yeah. Mm. It's energy, bro. And, it, and to be fair, like, I used to just DJ. I didn't produce. But now I've started producing. I'm not very good, but I'm learning. And I feel like mm. it's got a lot of graph in it. Like, you know, like, you know, like graffiti as a whole, like style-wise and vibes and all that. It's just like Hell music. Yeah. It's like neurofunk and that is your wild styles and a nice standard London-style dubs and DDS mm. dubs. You know, that's your more like chill-out rollers, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, Every, every, love that. every tune's got its own style, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I jump, love jump up's got to be your throw ups, ain't it, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love. I absolutely love that you do base those analogies. I do that a lot with music as well. I love that. But yeah, obviously, you know, I love all music, any man, because like, you know, I've, literally, there's not one music I don't like. Any, there's good in everything, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I love hip hop, man. Grew up off it, man. Be way before drum and bass, man. You know what I mean? Mm. Even got my tab. Your dad was an influence for you, right? What do? What was he listening to? Yeah, I was listening to fucking yeah, Wu Tang, Mob Deep. Yeah. Um, Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, you know, Onyx, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking Snoop Dogg. But to be honest with you, I actually got my tag from um, a Dr. Dre tune. <laughs> really? For real? Yeah. I know it's cringy and that, man, but for real, bro. <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real, man. I know it's pretty cringy and that, yeah, but, uh, you know, still Dre. Yeah. The lyric where he goes, lay back in the shack, play this track. <laughs> 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 You know, we're gonna put. I'm gonna put added effects of hearts and stuff around your <laughs> around your your image while you say that <laughs> in the in the in the edit. <laughs> yeah, man, big fan, man, big fan. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, back then, man, there was a, 
back then with that that genre, I didn't feel like there was much correlation with graffiti compared to what there was with drum and bass. You know, hip hop didn't really serve in the same way as maybe drum and bass did with with the culture. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because well, nah, I don't know. Well, graffiti came from hip hop in a way. But no, no, yeah, but I'm that, about... didn't, didn't actually. That's wrong. Um, and I'm talking about from the point from, of view from graffiti even. And, and and this is subject mm. to debate, you know what I mean? Like, don't don't comment, comment below, please tell me. But I feel like at that time of the Steel Dre era, oh, yeah, yeah. and the Snoop Doggy, sort of, yeah, yeah, I felt like there wasn't. It was more about drum and bass and garage in the UK scene anyway that were adopting elements of graffiti yeah, yeah. And styles. Yeah, I know what you're saying. There's a lot of garage, weren't there? A lot of uh, old school garage, and then speed garage came a bit, a bit, bit. Uh, you know, after that, yeah, yeah. I mean, we was all speed Gary Jeds, man, round boy where I used to live, yeah. Paul Way and all that, like East Birmingham, man, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. but like, yeah, we was all there was all chaps, man, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, speed Gary, Joe Hunt, and all that, yeah, I mean, yeah, oh. yeah. and then obviously, I was like, nah, I'm more drum and bass, man. I always found my calling was drum and bass because it's just more creative, mm. you know, it's more technical, mm. it's more creative, it's more deep, just yeah. how graffiti is. You know I mean? And being being active in them times and being associated with music at full stop and doing graffiti can only be a fucking great thing because the flag is it's raised every time you and your boys were out painting, you know, and you also DJ in the mix, you know, that <laughs> just adds value all around, doesn't it? Definitely, man. It's all it's all expression, yeah. isn't it? It's all expression. Yeah. You know, hip hop's yeah. expression. Graffiti's expression, you know. I suppose art's expression, but graffiti is a graffiti is known as like the the modern art, and it? it's the newest art form ever. Well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. There ain't no more hardcore, no more purest form of art than this. Exactly, because none of us was trained, man. Like none of, none of the vandals that you meet are, are trained. Just like Zombie yeah. said as well, mate. It's true. Yeah. You, you don't know what you're doing. You have to learn through years and years of trial and error. Charlie and he takes ages, and that's exactly what I did, man. And I was shit. And I'm still shit, really. I'm still shit at art. You know, I can do art, but it's not easy. But graffiti... But then it's but a different me, thing, graffiti, isn't it? Graffiti is easy. It is easy now, graffiti, because I, I feel like I've got to that level where graffiti is easy to me, isn't it? But yeah. that, that's not saying I'm an artist. just saying I'm a graffiti writer, isn't it? But there's a whole load of different things you've got to be... Um, uh, you've got to be in the mindset for with graph, which I think a lot of other art disciplines lack, um, because the 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 disposable pop culture aspect, you know, is you've done it, throw it away. You're doing it, throw it away. A lot of that is a for a. That's a lot for a lot of people to comprehend. Like, why would you? Why would you not? You know, why, why wouldn't it be on a canvas? What the, but then, then there's also the fact that there's the actions, as Prime said on his podcast, there's the actions before the um, the delivery, uh, b- before the uh, the final piece. You know, every single process that you go through is art in itself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I suppose. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I suppose. Do you ever feel like, <clears throat> Shackman, do you ever feel like, um, because you were saying, you know, yeah, you, you kind of taught yourself, which I think a lot of writers, but from what I understand, do. Um, but do you often feel like you're judged in any way by those previously those previous writers um asserting a level of this is how you do it, this should be done, da 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 in that kind of old school mentality? Um, yeah, yeah, I suppose, I suppose there's like a broom, there's a broom style in there. Mm. But, uh, I've mm. never really, I've, I've always been said that I've never really had the broom style, but I can, but people know that I can do the broom style, I suppose, but I, I tend mm. not to, because I've always actually been, I suppose, influenced more by American graph, I suppose. Where were you getting your intake back, back in the day? Style Wars, mm. uh, West Coast shit as well, like Saber, a graffiti artist Ooh. called Saber, bad beer, bad scene. On mm. the, uh, you know, I had the Coke 2 book, which I raised from fucking, well, I got my mate to raise it back oh, in like shit. 2004. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we used to just raise books, man. Like, that's what that was us. Before we was writing, we was raising magazines, and it, you know what I mean? Like, mm. We had to have mm. them. When I was at school, I was a naughty kid, and it, and 
I used to get sent to inclusion unit like every day. Mm. I used to have to get sent to there as well. Like, that, like you probably was as well. Yeah. And when I used to get sent to inclusion unit, the only thing that would keep me quiet is, is being able to sketch, right? I used to go in there. I'd just shut the whole lesson of words. Give me mm. a piece of paper and say, that's it. Do your thing, shut up. We just don't want to hear you. I used to do a wild style and I had to do a wild style because my name was all over the school and they would clock who I was otherwise. So I had to start doing wild styles because then when the teacher came up and said, oh, what's that say? They'd be like, we can't read it. And I'm like, yes, yeah. good. I was like, oh, I can't tell you, miss. It's top secret, you know. That, that's what it was. Yeah. For me, graffiti wasn't an art thing at first. It was, it was, it was part of me. It was part of being a little prick, I suppose. Escapism, I suppose. Yeah, part of, part of my image. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like the image equivocal of like you, the embodiment of you as yeah, a kid. Being a little fucker, basically. Do you think, do you think like some, because I've often thought about this. I'm like, and, and also I've had a couple of graph writers in before that are saying, you know, I'm not so good at dubs and tags, but I, you know, I go out on missions, I do this, da, 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 da. And sometimes I think to myself, I can kind of, I can kind of get why. Because to simplify something that is so ingrained in complexity, you know, like a, a wild style is complex and um, there's only happy mistakes. Yeah, with that's a, true, that's true, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? With a dub, it's like you've got to go, you've almost got to regress and go minimal, haven't you? Mm, it's, it's harder. I'd say it's harder. Yeah. It's yeah. harder to get it perfect, you know, and that's where I was struggled at first. I was more better at detail because of all the sketching I used to do back in school, you know. Mm. When it comes to uh, doing it on a wall, it was different. I couldn't do it. But on paper, I was quite hot early. You know, I was quite shit hot quite early, to be fair, mm. at Wild Stars. Um, everyone will tell you, you know, in 2000, I only started, like, really writing in 2004. But by 2006, I was top class on paper, I suppose. Even though there was mistakes in there, I was pretty, for my age, I was quite, you know, but it was a different story on a wall. But... Tell me about that story on wall. How did that conversion happen? Like when you got into, I mean, obviously it's on paper. It's one thing. You have your time. You have your you have your creative. That's your fun process. Next thing you got to put it into practice. What was that like when you went from that to that? Oh fucking hell, man! So many mistakes, bro. Madness. Like didn't know what I was doing, bro. Like trial, it really is trial and error. Like people used to laugh. Yeah. What the fuck is that? And then I used to like buff it off myself. Like oh, we can't look at it anymore, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let me just do this for you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's some terrible fucking occasions, man. Like, literally, like, you know, you really just have to learn the hard way, innit? And yeah. we didn't have no internet then. We, have, we had no, uh, in, well, in Instagram. There was yeah. just one website I used to look at, right? And it was uh, ukgraph.org. Nice, okay, yeah, website? yeah. Oh, mm, that rings bells. There's, there's a couple of them out there that to like, even to this day still stand. Be your man who tags ba- baby. Baby. Oh. Um, and, and he was on a train back in the day. And there was like, yeah, Morn, TPG. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, it's my dog, yeah. He used to have baby, is it? Yeah. He used to stick in my head. Then there was like Brave and mm-hmm. Snatch, Snatch from London. Oh, Snatch. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Snatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake blood man. Yeah, he Big man. influenced me OG. so much, you know, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And not like Mode 2 and all that. Yeah, Mode 2 They were the beast. ones that actually influenced me, to be fair, before the, the street bombers. Because I was, I, like I said, I started off more in, into the art stuff. But then I realised, oh, nah, it's just my, 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 my personality took me in a different direction, which was good to me, though, because I wanted to... I realised that, yeah, I'm literally a graffiti writer, man. Not a graffiti artist. I want to You know... Yeah, you know, there's a, fun, there is a balance. Fun, bro. Say again. It's more fun. It's literally it's so much more fun, bro. It's just I couldn't imagine just doing it for a job and being bored. Like, oh, gotta do this woman's name now. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Gotta do this bedroom. Oh, fucking hell. No. Look, I can't lie. From my point of view, on a musical point of view, when someone says, "Can you beatbox?" Da 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 da. I'm like, huh. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather do it off your own back, innit? Yeah, yeah. It's like a comedian being told to tell a joke. It's like, yo, you know what yeah. I mean? You know, Arrow from Brighton. Yeah, big, big. Um, big up the Brighton crew oh, yeah, as well. Big up NT all day long, man. And sticker, sticker, man. Yeah, look at that. I got him on Insta, I think. Yeah, class. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, that, Annie that and network. Annie and 
Was that what was that one? Odyssey was he? Was it Odyssey? Um, it, no, it was. Um, I know who you're talking about. It was. Uh, uh, ah, shit. That's gonna get me. I think it, oh, he actually done a tag down here a little while ago. It's gonna kill me for. He'll come to me in a minute. Um, those guys, I think, reflected an attitude, but still holding an artistical slant. I think they used the. Uh, the restrictions that were around them to great effect, you know. Yeah, that was a big influence on me, man. NT was definitely that 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 whole DVD, that Network Terror DVD. First, forget yeah, about it. It's the first time I ever saw that style as well. Like that, that kind of invented yeah. that style, ain't it? Like you know, it's arrow and sticker. Yeah, without question. Technical dub styles with like mad, yeah. yeah. And we couldn't fully read it, but it didn't matter. Like when you can't read something fully, it kind of intrigues you more. Totally. I think that's why Zuki's always been one like in Birmingham because yeah, looks so Zuki, abstract. Man. It's the abstract king, isn't it? It's the abstract that's thing. People are obsessed because like it's it's not like it's more mysterious. His work's very mysterious, I think. In the, in the and it yes, that's right. And it looks although minimal looking and artistical looking in both breaths. I feel like it. It takes the long. It takes the hardest. It, you know, it's harder to do. Yeah, yeah. Because of that, and how it's got more depth in it. Yeah, it's just got more depth, and it's it's really, it's really hard to actually to, to pull off. Minimal is hard to pull off. Definitely. <laughs> Those kind of styles, that kind of abstract shit. It's, it, you know, it's hard to. It's actually it's hard to define your own style with that abstract stuff as well. Because the more abstract you get, the more, you know distance you, you are from the main objectives yeah. like how do you draw yourself back into that that's why again just highlighting network terror as well like to go i feel like sometimes when i saw this stuff they had to go as far back as they could to then go back into it again and, and treat it like graph and they had that beach and it the big beach spot the big the massive wall didn't i make that legal as well yeah they did yeah, like yeah. 50 foot or something yeah, 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 yeah. They had the moon as well back there. They had the moon. That was another location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 Brighton again, you know. But yeah, man, the the scene is littered with these, you know, and and something will just come out of nowhere. You'll be like, yo, what the fuck? Who? How did they think of that? Yeah, there's another writer from down south as well, which is class. You ever heard of Super? Super. He's class. Look at his work, yeah. man. Super. He's he's really good. I think he might be from like Southampton or some shit, like. Yes. Mm. Southampton. There was a geezer I saw the other day that was in London that was from Southampton. Killed it. Craziest wild style. Yeah, he's like, crazy. He kind of reminds me of myself in a way, but he's he's better than me though. He's more of an artist. Like I'm more of a vandal, and you know, I'm you know. But it seems mm. like he's got a lot of the same characteristics as my letters. Nice. You know what I mean? Check him out, man. Yeah, I will, for sure. For sure. Anyone else you're feeling at the moment? Anyone else out in the in the in the big scheme of things? Like in the world or in uh UK? I reckon UK, why not? Uh, UK. Um two uh two ways in Manchester. He's bombing it Ooh. hard, yeah. CeeLo in Manchester as well. CeeLo, big up my boy CeeLo. Manny crew inside, huh? We'll link him soon, man. Yeah, honestly, CeeLo, man, up there. He's cutting rooftop off the rooftop. In- I need to check this geezer uh, out. CeeLo, huh? Well, man. And then, um, obviously, you've got your cats in London, like Force and Offski and all that. And all the legends course, yeah. that you've already interviewed as well, man, like DDS and all that, man. For those, you know, for those that ain't aware of a Brum style, define for me what, in your mind, is... Uh, what what the what the Brum style looks like by definition? Corsa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I like yeah. Corsa. Uh, tell me, tell me about, tell me about Corsa and and his influence on Brum. Fuck you know, man. Where can I start, man? Like, I'm sure man's invisible or something, man. I just don't know how he got away with all that shit. Really? But to be fair, like. <laughs> No, nah, I love him, man. He, he's, he's the OG of Brum, isn't he? He's yeah. what you call, like, gritty. Like, yeah. also, he had, like, nine tags. 
And like there was all everyone knows him as like different names, but no one knew in the back in the day that he was like all these other names as well. So when they pieced it all together and realised that he had all these other tags, and it was the it was one man doing it. It was fucking saying it. Like. That's crazy. He influenced a lot of things, didn't he over there? Yeah, I mean his crew, you know, his crew, him and Zombie and that like NHS, you know, like mm-hmm. obviously I never thought I'd be in that crew, and it, you know, they were my That's biggest crazy. influence. And I yeah, actually yeah. get to say now that I'm in it. How did you get put in it? Uh, through him and Sun. Yeah, wow. my mate Sun, man, you know, Keiko Sun. He's a big legend to me as well, man. He basically sorted it out. He was like, said to Corsa, you need to put Shaq in NHS. And he was like, oh, he's not in it yet. Put him in it, man. <laughs> not one of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That yeah, was back I know in like 2010, ones, I think, or not. Yeah, 2010. That's when I I'd stopped graphing, though, you know, for a bit. I'd actually stopped. And uh, so when I got put in that, I felt like, yeah, I've got to come back now, man. Just been putting the biggest crew in Midlands, ain't it? I've got to come back now, yeah. man. <laughs> without question. Without question. So probably a proper se- sem- seminal moment for you, brother. Mm, you know Definitely, I mean? yeah. I did, that, did that trigger you to want to go back painting again? Was that, was that a... Did it reinforce what your intentions were? And even though you were coming off out of it, you were like, maybe they did it. Maybe it was a trigger to get you to keep going. Yeah, yeah well, no, I was, I was thinking about it anyway, though, you know, for myself. And that was just an extra boost. That was just an extra thing to add to my name. But yeah, I was definitely thinking about it anyway. Because mm. I, hadn't wrote, I hadn't wrote for like four years, to be fair to you. Mm. I was doing all the shit. I was, I was, you know, like but when I got raided when I was younger, I was uh, 17. You know, mm-hmm. the raid in my house, looking for Shaq, you know. And um, I was kind of just, just fingered at, you know, just fucking, I was just devoured. Because I was so young, I was like, oh. It was, everywhere you looked, Shaq was there. And I was just, because I was so young, and I was like, oh, yeah, it, it's me. What? What? Mm-hmm. I should never have said that. But I did, and it, because I was so young, I was like, yeah, it's me, blah, blah, blah. They blagged me that it was all going to be sweet and that, and I don't know if it's going to happen. Before you know it, I'm done with two and a half grand fines. And two years of probation, or one and a half year of probation, or whatever it was. Wow. And I was like, I started to, I'll be honest with you, that, in that year, I started to kind of hate on graffiti then. Resent it because of what? Because of like, yeah. just because of getting caught in it. And because it's mainly yeah. for, for like, yeah, like, oh my God, I've been doing all this. And I just, I'm on fucking all this shit now. And now I've got a record on that. And they're on about, oh, if you do anything else, we'll have to give you a suspended sentence and then you might go to jail or you'll be on tag and all this shit. Like. And I'm like, for graffiti, what the fuck? And then what it was, because it, I come from a little bit of a rough area, like a little rugged estate, and it? All the way in that, Broadstone. Um, old tight, old tight, come on. Tight, old tight do, there. Do it all day long, and it? it? Yeah, yeah. And LVP too, man. Big group. Old tight. Manor, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Fucking, they was all saying to me at the time, the people I was chilling with, they was like, what are you doing? What are you still doing that for graffiti, man? You don't earn no money off that, man. That's yeah. for waste, man, that is. That's waste. So I was like, you're fucking right, man. Literally, like, why am I still doing it? It's it's done nothing but cause me fucking trouble. So then I started, like, doing, going with them more and doing all the crime shit, man. Like, I, honestly, I went through a bit of a stage where I was just a cunt, bro. Really? I was going What's on robberies it? with them. I was going on house robberies, fucking mainly bikes. Bikes was the thing, man. Like super bikes, man. Crossers, mm. big CR 250s and that. Black boxing them, pulling them off the drives and that, you know, just making money mm. off stolen bikes and shit, man. All these sort of. But remember, we're only like 16, 17 year olds. Yeah. You know? And yeah, yeah. I actually thought, yeah, it's a better way to go. If I'm going to get caught for something, at least I've been making money off it and all that shit. But, uh, you know. Didn't last long for me, man. That era, um, just like, didn't that, didn't that? Because I got too much of a conscience, I suppose, as well, man. So after a while, robbing people and that, robbing houses and shit, man, you just think to yourself, nah, man. I was the only one with a conscience, innit? Um, and then I realised that certain people, not all of them, some of them are still top lads to this day, innit? And they're still doing the criminal yeah. things, man. Fair play to them. Won't mention any names, but let them, mm-hmm. my mates, mm-hmm. carry on, innit? You know what I mean? But, for me, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, really. I was just doing through a phase, and it. I was, I was, I had more talent, man. I had more talent than them. I was built for better things, and it. I suppose. I feel that. I feel that. You know, you're the first person I've actually talked to that has, um, that that took a, uh, 
a distaste to graph after being caught, understandably at a young age. Yeah, but, it was young, man. It was but, proper young. But migrated into other areas of crime because of the discipline that, that you encountered for just doing graffiti. Mm. Arguably, you caused more emotional damage to other people and um, the lifestyle that you then adopted. That actually says a lot for the shortcomings of doing graffiti, doesn't it? It does, you know, it does. It just shows you that deep down graffiti is not, it's, it's not a, it's, it's not really, I don't know, people say, yeah, it's a crime, it's a crime, but I don't see it as a crime. I see it as a mystery, a, a mischief, if you like, but not a crime, not a crime, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, not a crime, man. Like, I, I've done some shit, man. I, I nearly killed someone, bro, you know, you know, I, I split someone's head open, you know. Oh, with a, how with did a, you do that? What happened? With a posh. I split his head open and he died, bro. You know, <gasps> because, because what, 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 he tried to stab you? me. That's why. Wait, so what? So he tried to stab you, and then you pushed him, and he split his head open. He tried to st- speak to my ma- my friend Hazard, man. Hazard, hold tight, Hazard, hold tight, Dean. My, my good friends from Sheldon, yeah, Sheldon. He's hold tight, him, yeah. But this was this wasn't in Sheldon but anyway. Yeah. He tried to stab me, and he, you know, he came at me with a massive like army knife. And he, yeah. I dodged him. I swung my car at him, missed him, and then swung back and went whack and backhanded him with it. Because I imagine they swing it at him and he ducks it. And I feel like a dickhead. And oh shit, I've missed. I had to think fast. Then I back, I came back the same way, backhanded him with it. Boom. Straight across gotcha. his ear. His ear exploded. And he just dropped in it. And then, oh man. <gasps> I was wanted then for at least a year, you know, in that area. Like, I couldn't, everyone knew my face, innit? Jesus. And everyone kept calling my name. I was like, oh, stop fucking saying my name, real, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's one of them. It's like, all oh, shit like that. Like, I feel like graph is nothing compared to that sort of shit, man, like, that I've done. And being a part oh. of, I suppose. And so for me, I don't see graph as a terrible thing, man. I see it as, like, mm. I see it as fun, bro. It's just fun. It's always yeah. fun for me. Yeah. Literally keeps you out of trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How close to the, how close to the uh, fire is, is you know just out of curiosity, is graph to, to, other illegal activities? Because the other thing that 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 graph gets tarnished with, to my understanding, is how it's a uh, it's a um, an entry hole to criminal activity, and I often think to myself define that by what by what comparable do you think like that that the criminal activity outside of perhaps racking they, they did anything else run hand in hand in it because i i I'm, I'm not too no sure way. no way brother no way not for me no nah, mm. i can't see that i can't see that yeah maybe robbing people's paint but that's about it but that's this <laughs> Robbing shops, like you say, I used to rob Halfords all the time when I was younger. We used to go sell the oak. There used to be a Halfords right next door to the graffiti park in Birmingham. Oh, that's asking for Yeah, why would they put it there of all places? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know where we put it. I've got a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Next to the... Uh, where do the vandals like to go? Oh, yeah, we put it next yeah, door yeah. there. <laughs> Literally. This is a sort of t- tax write-off, you know, just... They just know. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we used to go in there, man, back in the days, man, when I used to roll with EC, and it? East Coast. Hold tight. Yeah, like Pesa, uh, Forms, Media, know, Grammar. Yeah, yeah. These names. Uh, just All these old school yeah. heads, man. It was all from, like, yeah. yeah. I used to look up to them so much, man. Some as well, some. Yeah, man, mm. some sick, man. He's always been a, an older brother to me, and it? Mate, mate. Just, like, these are the people that I want to get on the podcast. Yeah, you need these to get the... some on there. Definitely. Yeah. And you need yeah. to get Tempo on here and Zuki. Yeah. And... Zuki, yeah. You need to get Crux yeah. on here, man. Oh, ch- yeah. Crux is an... I love, no, but love for Crux. He actually came through with Causa. He was behind the camera. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, come on. He's like, no, nah, man, I can't. I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> nah, yeah. that's my dog. Crux is big on the trains, and it? You know what I'm saying? I'd say I'm big on the streets. He's big on the trains, and it? Yeah, yeah I'd say, sure. say he's probably the only other geezer over than me that's more active. 
career. You reckon? So yeah, so he yeah, because he did cite he did cite on conversation here that you know he's like yeah maybe not right now, but obviously not being from Birmingham, you never know the true you know the weight of how busy someone is. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. I go through big, big, busy, busy stages, and then I sort of I have a week off or something. But when I've had, on my week off, I notice that cuts just don't stop, and it's so. <laughs> uh, really, really, not like a bastard. <laughs> What's it? Do you just like re up? Is it a re up thing? Yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, like I need to be careful because um, you can get arrested for ages, man. Like a long time, and uh, I mean, since I got raided, sort of days, like you know, like ten, ten over, like two thousand eight and eight, mm. I've been going without being bagged for so long. But then, literally this year, I've been bagged twice. One was only three weeks ago. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm waiting to hear what's going to happen. Now they're going to ring me up at now, so I'm waiting to see what's happening. But then, three months before that, in the summer or at the start of the summer, I also got nicked. And so, yeah, it's not. It's starting. Maybe my empire's starting to come down. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I I mean, think... it's just one of them. I was trying to sell the police my artwork though in the station, man. I was like, yeah. <laughs> what, what are we saying about this fine brother? I've got some uh, nice canvases here for you. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, listen. You know what? That is fucking that. That in itself is a, a sketch worth writing down as a in a comedy. That's amazing. Because that could genuinely happen. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> Does anything phase you? Does anything? I mean, let's be really honest, dear. Right? Because I remember, like, you know, doing my music career. Still doing my music career. My um, my you. As I get older, I realise what my um, ambition, my ambitions change, you know, you because I know you say, you know, I'm hardcore, I want to do this. And if it starts to get in the way, like it becomes a job or something. Yeah. Then this this ultimately would be my, uh, you know, departure because I ain't in it. Yeah, yeah. But um, after a while, I don't know. I just feel like some of the things that I'm doing now, this included, if you would have said to me any age younger than, than I am now, I'd have been like, nah, man. And I don't know where it changed. Do you think you see a change anywhere? Do you think there's a change in you at any point? You know, after these three, you know, baggins in the last couple of months, you think, it, is there any sort of way in which things can change in your head? Uh, nah, the only thing I was thinking of, I need to start taking it off roads and just just moving it onto tracks more. You know, because hmm. the police are <laughs> let me tell you, you get bagged on road more than you do on tracks. If you burn them, guys, you you love the roads <laughs> as well, don't you? That's the thing. Nah, yeah, because what it is, obviously, we are, I don't know, man, for me, I've only hit one, one, I'll be honest with you, only one or two trains I've hit, really. And I've hit yeah. a few tra- freights, but I don't see them as included. But it's not that I don't want to do it, it's just that I ain't driving at the minute and I, there's not a yard I can get to. But it's what we're mm. planning. We're planning on doing trains, you know. But, but basically, other than trains, roads, I've, I feel like I've I've took the piss, mate. Mm-hmm. I, I've gone roadside after roadside, man. Like bait spots in it. The lockdown season is upon us. The have you found with lockdown that it's been harder to paint or easier? Well, that's why I got nicked because of lockdown, and so I suppose I'd never get nicked to otherwise. It was lockdown's fault. Damn. Okay, you know, so like, the... no one in the city centre. We've been watching you on camera. We've been following you all the way from Jewelry Quarter to New Street Station. We've been following you because there's no one else on the streets. I was like, oh shit, is there no one on the street? It's just us, yeah. Like, you know, it wasn't hard to spot. You're the only ones on out here, literally. So yeah, I don't know. Bit of kicking the teeth, isn't it? Yeah, that's got to suck. We was in the city centre, like right in the middle of the city centre, you know what I mean? Don't do that, lads. Mm. Come on, use your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Word, yeah, yeah. Word from word from the wise. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and don't try none of this stuff at home, kids. Trust me. What yeah. we're talking about here is documentation purposes only. And, canvases. Uh, yeah. Yeah, stick to canvases. That's right. That's right. My brother, it's been a fucking pleasure having you on. And I tell you, when when uh, when we're unlocking down, we're we're definitely hanging out and connecting. Yeah, for definitely. Real. I've got to come down and see you soon, man. It'd be fantastic to finally meet you properly. Yeah, you too, brother. I to be... Listen, stay safe, man. Yeah, stay safe out there. Yeah, go for it. What um, you got? 
Yeah, so, uh, Sag 2 1, yeah. Jaina. Ayan. Isla. Yes, yes. Yeah, big up. And then big up all, that, all the Birmingham crews, man. NHS, FKS, ADS, IBS, yes, yes. LBS, FHS. Altai. <laughs> OCA, AFS, NFA, EC. All these big crews, yeah. Even back in the day, crews that influenced me, like C9, Cloud9, big up them, yeah. PWP. Woo! Posse, yeah, all day long where I'm from, yeah. LVP, fucking big respect. Big up Dean, big up Insane, big up Pike, big up Rema, big up Genie, big up Mikey T, JT, Lang, everyone, man. Oh, tight. <laughs> you was prepared. Big up Nas as well. Big up my boy Nas. Big up Nas, man. Thing. Big up Oni, big up Lush, big up all the girls as well that are doing it. Say that again. Big up all the girls as well that are doing it in Brum, man. Big up Dolls, big up Oni, big up Lush. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got to get over to Birmingham ASAP. I need <laughs> Danny this shit on my, my show, yeah. bro. That's fire. And also, bro, the last thing before I go, there's a magazine coming out. Yeah, you need to check out any FHF. What's this called? What's it called? Fucking Hot Squad. Oh, it's either that or it's Forgotten Heroes. Yeah. It's a magazine Ooh. that's coming out that's like mainly from the kids from my area that made it. But they're, they're about one year younger than me that made it, and it's just about East Birmingham as a whole, like the, the area, East Birmingham. It's brilliant. That's amazing. I'll, send you I'd a link, love to see I'll have to. I'll send you a link, man. Please send that. I would love, love to hot check squad. that out, bro. <laughs> Hot squad. And uh, apparently there's a page in there featured just about me, in it? So that's, that's a good thing, you know <laughs> Come on. Hey. hey, what do you expect? You know what I mean? That's how we roll. That's, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, fucking send me that, bro. Yeah. Send me that. Enough love, love, man. My G, my G. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> oh my God. Birmingham is represented. Shack inside the house. Big shout out, NHS, all crew. Um, and thank you so much, brother. Thank you, brother. Pleasure. <laughs> Killer Keller podcast out like when was out of fashion. You stay lucky, people, all right? Hold it together now. Don't forget to keep it sharing, all right? Stay lucky. Peace. Peace.